Let me make something abundantly clear. I am not voting for Hillary Clinton. But if you don't vote for Hillary, Donald Trump will become president. I don't care. I don't care who she's running against. I don't care how evil the other person is. I'm not voting for Hillary Clinton. Look, if Kanye West had a baby with Satan, and they named it King Kanye, and they promised to turn the White House into a recording studio and make new albums every six months, I still wouldn't vote for Hillary Clinton. If my creepy uncle who wore sandals with socks and always told me he had a dollar for me in his pocket decided to run for president, I still wouldn't vote for Hillary Clinton. If a giant mosquito carrying Zika virus, Ebola, and malaria was somehow nominated for president and then promised to spread pollen allergies everywhere, I still wouldn't vote for Hillary Clinton. If Nickelback made an acoustic greatest hits album with special guest appearances by Avril Lavigne and Celine Dion and Taylor Swift and that album could somehow run for president, I still wouldn't vote for Hillary Clinton. If all my ex-girlfriends were to join together and form some sort of cheating, lying, evil transformer that shoots whatever lasers through its eyes, if that ran for president, I still wouldn't vote for Hillary Clinton. If Steven Seagal's ponytail was somehow nominated for president and it promised to make man buns mandatory for all men in America, I still wouldn't vote for Hillary Clinton. My point is, I'm not voting for Hillary Clinton. I don't care how much more evil you think her opponent might be. All Bernie Sanders supporters wanted was a fair chance at winning the nomination. But she couldn't do that. She had to cheat and deceive and lie her way to a victory. Hillary Clinton did not earn my vote. And if Donald Trump does become president, the Democrats have no one to blame but themselves.